With the additional time we've had at home recently, many of us have had a bit of a clear out. Going through the stuff we never really use or wear and getting rid of it is a good thing to do, especially if we can give those things away and perhaps help others who might be in need. Just as long as we don't think that that extra space is an excuse to go out and buy more. (laughs) We are fickle individuals. Sometimes our spiritual lives need a bit of a clear out too. I think we have all too often gone through the motions, gone to church or to meetings, even prayed and read our Bibles regularly, but perhaps without a deep sense of God's presence and without really listening to what he might be saying to us. I wonder, now that we're not propped up by the same fellowship, the services and all the usual comforts and supports of our Christian life, maybe we've found time to get right back to the basic principle that this is about a relationship, a relationship that God wants to have with us deeply and personally. He wants to spend time with us. In Luke chapter 10, we read what Jesus said when he was confronted by Martha and her industrious activity. Martha, Martha, he replied, you're worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is really needed. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken away from her. Mary, of course, had spent time simply listening at Jesus' feet. Maybe we need to just take care that as our lives begin to fill up again with activities, friends, family and places to go, that we don't crowd out Jesus, who still says to us, I am all that you need. Our loving God, all of us have someone who we so wish could come to know your love and your grace. And maybe many times we've missed the moment, but help us, after the gig, after the gardening, after the shopping, to take a moment with them, to mention the name of Jesus, and to do that with gentleness and respect, and leave the rest of the work to you. In Jesus' name, Amen.